This video is all about the Technet trolley cart. Uh, Multi-purpose, very durable, very robust. Use it for all sorts of occasions. Let's have a look at it in more depth. I'll go through the specifications shortly, but first of all, let's see how easy it is to set up. Uh, I've carried it over here and it's very easy to transport because it only weighs about 10 kilograms. So as you can see, nice and compact, very easy to go into the back of a car or a truck if you're going somewhere. Let's get it unfolded. Spin it round. And basically you've got a case around it. You've got Velcro, undo the Velcro like that. Pull the Velcro out. That comes off. We just need to pop that to the side because we're going to be using it. And then just push it down in the middle. And pretty much that is it. The case that we had on it, if you get that, pop it into the bottom. Now you've got a stable base for it. So we're all set to go. And when you've opened it up, just lift the handle up. It clicks into place here. That's now not going anywhere. Uh, to dismantle it, you simply press that button there, push it in, and then it goes down. And when it's up, you can move the handle up or down just to make it easy for pulling, whether you're small, tall, or going around a corner, perfect. And we've got plenty of additional storage on it as well. So at the front, there's two pockets for secateurs or phones, anything like that. You've got three pockets here in this mesh, and you've also got a huge zipped pocket at the back. Uh, that should be a waterproof pocket that so if you want to put something in there zip it up perfect in addition to the storage the cloth is actually oxford cloth and it's 600d which i'm presuming is the density of the mesh now this is removable and cleanable and to remove it nothing could be simpler all you do you've got four buttons or so four corners sorry a button on each corner press it lift out the plug that comes out and then you just take it off. And to put it back on, simply pop it over, get it again. You've got to press this in until it goes down and then it should just pop into place. So nice and secure. Let's run through the specifications of the cart. So we've got a loading capacity of 180 litres, which is huge. And the load bearing capacity of it, so the weight that it'll take is 150 kilograms or 330 pounds. If you're picking it up, it's going to weigh 10.2 kilograms. Now you've seen me do that, it's really light, especially being compact, very easy to put in the back of something when you're taking it away with you. The folded down size is 69 centimeters by just under 24 by 44 centimeters. So really compact. And when it's unfolded, that's 102 centimeters by 86 by 53 centimeters. And the size of the four wheels is 17 centimeters by eight centimeters with the two front wheels being the steering wheels. And a little bit more about the wheels. Well, they're 17 centimetres by eight centimetres and the two front wheels, the actual steering wheels, they've got a lock on them. So once you're parked up or if you're loading it and you don't want it to be moving, simply push that down and then the wheel's locked and it's not going anywhere. And that's on the two front wheels, as I've said. And to unlock it, simply press that down, that pops up and then it can be moved again. Just so that you can see how well the weight distributes in it. So I'm about 75 kilograms, uh, 12 stones. So simply get in and there we go, no problem. Now we're going to put something heavier in now and then I'll show you on the different surfaces. I think we all know that one of the worst things when you're gardening is carrying around peat and compost, especially when it's sodden with water. Now this, that is heavy. And what we're going to do is we'll pop it in here and as I say we'll see it on different terrains just see how the truck works. Before I put it in what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the brakes onto the wheels just so that it doesn't move. I'll use my feet to do that. Right so brakes are on won't move anywhere when there's any weight in it and we'll get the compost and I'll put my back out as I'm lifting it. Right so Right, that's the compost in there. Let's see the truck working. That's a 70 litre bag of compost in there and there's still plenty of room. Right, let's take the brakes off first. So again, you don't need to bend down. Just click the top and then we're all ready to go. So this is it on pavement. 
And what we'll do is we'll take it onto gravel. Absolutely no problem on gravel. Bring it round, back up here. And we'll go down and have a look at it on the mud and grass. So as I've said, we're going over flags and paving at the moment and it's running nice and smoothly, so no problems there. So we're going to come off the stone flags now. And as you can see, there's a bit of a step. Let's see how it deals with that. Absolutely no problem. Now we're on quite a boggy surface. Don't know if you can see, but the wheels are wide enough so that it's definitely not sinking in. And it's very easy to pull as well. Let's just go past this. Yep, absolutely no problem over that terrain. So if you were going camping and you were in a muddy field, if this was loaded up with your tent and your cooking bits and pieces, your beer, your drinks, I don't think you'd have any problem at all. Certainly better than carrying it anywhere. And also with the width of the wheels being eight centimetres, if you're taking it over an immaculate lawn, it's not going to be digging into that lawn and damaging it. So yeah, very easy to steer. I say going over boggy ground, not a problem. And when you finish using it, it's simple to put away. Take out that base. This is dirty, so we'll just give that a shake. Pop that down. There's a, a handle in the middle. Just pull it up and that's it. It collapses. Get the handle, press the button, push it down. That's that done. Squeeze it together. And all this does is it literally wraps around it and you strap it together with these straps in the Velcro. So that's how simple it is. Right, so the in summary part of the video, um, I suppose the most important thing is how much is it? Well, it's on offer at the moment. There's a discount code on the website if you go to it and you'll, I think it's just over 70 pounds. Now 70 pounds for this, I think is amazing value, but put that to one side. What does it actually do? It does everything that you want it to do. So if you're going for a picnic, take it out of the back of the car, fill it up and then let it follow you. If you're going down to the beach, same. If you're going camping, I've already said, put your tent in there, your drinks, your food, your cooking, everything else will go in there. Primarily, I'm using it for gardening. Obviously chop branches down and trees as well for the stove fires that we've got. And with the capacity that this will hold and the weight that it'll hold, that'll be ideal for going up onto the land and bringing things back rather than using a wheelbarrow, which can be actually tricky on, uh, on damper soil. The wheels articulate fantastically, very, very easy. Literally just pull it and it follows you. The size of the wheels means it doesn't sink into the ground. And as I've already said, if it's on a lawn, it's not good to damage the lawn. Lots of storage pockets on it, which is perfect when you're gardening. But I think one of the best things about it is how the Oxford cloth is removable. And another great thing about it is you saw how compact it is. Now, if you're putting it in the back of the car, that's a winner. So ultimately, do I recommend it? Uh, I most certainly do recommend it and if you want to get one have a look at the link below. Now I just need to continue prepping the garden for what I hope is going to be a fantastic summer.